Let's talk about chance and probability. Many people believe that our existence is the result of probabilities. That is to say, another set of probabilities could have come about and actualized such that we would not exist. That is to say, another universe or a universe of a very different nature or type with different sets of circumstances could have come about or no universe at all could have come about and we wouldn't be here whatsoever. And that's a possibility or a probability. And ours, our existence, is just one of many possibilities that could have come about. And how fortunate we are that we're now here. Now, this can be symbolized much like a coin flip. With a coin flip, you have a 50-50 shot of getting heads or tails and a 100% shot of getting one or the other. Tails. Now, let's say that this coin flip represented Tails, for example, will represent the creation of our universe with this exact set of circumstances that brought about our existence. Alternatively, heads will represent every other possibility. That is to say, every other possible universe and set of circumstances, or even the possibility of no universe whatsoever. Now, when I flip the coin, I have a 50-50 shot of getting one set of circumstances or the other. Question what are the chances that I'm going to flip the coin? Do you see what I did there? There is no possibility that I'm going to flip the coin because I didn't decide to flip it. The initial cause of the coin flip was not based on probability or chance whatsoever. It was based on intentionality and determination, in this case anyways. Now, some would argue that whatever the initial cause of the universe was also based on probability as opposed to determination or intentionality, which indicates a will. And an atheist would never admit that the initial cause of the universe is based on a will, because that sounds a lot like God, doesn't it? What they'll say is this, that based on our observations from within the universe, because in the universe we do see probabilities at work, we do see possibilities and chances and whatnot, by observing those possibilities, they will then say and conclude that the universe itself and all existence and all reality unto the tenth dimension are based on likewise possibilities based on their observations from within the universe. Now here's the danger of doing that. That would be akin to saying this, that the 50-50 shot of heads or tails is itself the cause of the coin flip. That's ridiculous. So what I'm doing here is I'm making a distinction between the initial flipping of the coin and the probabilities thereafter. And the reason I can do that is because the probabilities of anything are never themselves the cause of the probabilities themselves. Otherwise, you have something called self-causation, which is philosophically and intellectually impossible. A way to really visualize that would be to say this, that I am the cause of my own existence. Now, the reason that's impossible is this. In order to be caused, you have to begin to exist. But in order to cause yourself to exist, you also have to pre-exist your own existence, which means you have to exist and not exist at the same time in order for self-causation to work, which is a contradiction, um, which makes no sense whatsoever. So for probability to be the cause of probability, not only do you have a self-causation problem, you also have an infinite regression problem. Now, an infinite regression works like this. If I was to say, you know, uh, I lent someone 20 bucks, and I went to them and said, can I have my 20 bucks, please? And they said, sorry, I lent it to someone else. Uh, they have it. So I go to them and say, hey, someone told me that you have my 20 bucks. They say, sorry, I lent it to someone else. You have and I go to them and I'm like, hey, you have my 20 bucks? They say, no, I lent it to someone else. And I go to them and they said, on and on it goes, I will never get my 20 bucks. So if all probabilities are based on probabilities, and no probability can account for itself, as we've discussed, well, then you have an infinite regression of probabilities. Now, an infinite regression of probable causes, that is to say, an infinite regression of actual cause and effect relationships infinitely into the past, and infinite means never-ending, that would mean that a never-ending set of probabilistic circumstances came before right now, a never-ending set of those circumstances, and 
here we are. Well, hold on, it's never ending, so it never should have reached now. Infinite regressions are impossible. All right, so let's wrap up the conversation we've been having. Probabilities themselves cannot be the causes of probabilities infinitely into the past. There must be a first cause. That first cause itself must be intentional, deterministic. Now, some will say, well, hold on. Wouldn't God be self-caused? Well, God is not caused because God is eternal. If you're not probabilistic, you are determined. And if you're determined, that is to say, you're not based on a probability that precedes yourself, then you are independent. You're not contingent. You're not dependent upon previous effects. And if that's the case, and you're truly independent, that means you don't have a cause, which means you are eternal. You've always existed. And if that's the case, that means you are necessary. Now, traditionally, for thousands of years, people have always conceived as the eternal, infinite God as a eternally necessary being. That is to say, there is no set of probabilities in which he couldn't exist, or a possible world, for a philosophical term. There are no possible worlds in which he couldn't exist, because he necessarily exists by his own independent nature. That being said, if you still believe that this universe is brought about by probabilities, you've only pushed the question back further. You still need to terminate in something that is not probabilistic. And if you say it's just an inanimate force, something like energy, that doesn't have an outside force acting upon it, then the type of determination we're now talking here is such that it renders all probabilities into mere illusion. After all, energy only behaves as energy behaves. It has a nature within itself, and it doesn't act in a probabilistic way. Within our universe, we know this to be the case. Unless something outside of matter acts upon it, it will always behave the same way. If you take that infinitely into the past, what you have is a set of determined events determined to the point that all probability is rendered impossible. With God, however, with God, who's an intentional being, we are made in the image of God, which means we have a will that transcends energy itself, or mere matter. And so we can interact with the world because we transcend it, and thus we are sort of, um, what's, what's the word? Not dominion, not dominion. The word I'm looking for is because we transcend nature, because we transcend the material world, we are able to interact with it in a non-determined way. We're not self-caused in the sense that we bring about our own existence, but we are self-determined in the same way that God is, being that we're made in His image. Hope you enjoyed the video.